Hello friends, welcome to the Polymats under the aegis of Polymer Process Engineering. Now before we start for this particular Polymats, let us have a brief outlook that what we discussed previously. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the chemistry of epoxies because epoxies play a very vital role in all kind of polymer applications. Under this, we discussed about the ring opening mechanism, we discussed about uh, the properties of uh, epoxies then phenoxies and we discuss about the silicons. In this uh, particular segment, we are going to discuss about the various uh, functionalities of polymides like definition, we will discuss about the structure, then we will discuss about the physicochemical properties. Uh, apart from this, we will discuss uh, their application, especially in the field of electronics. We will discuss about the synthesis process, solvent soluble polymides. We will discuss about uh, the two step curing processes and polymide modification because in certain application you require the their modification and then we will discuss about the photosensitive polymides. Now the polymides, uh, they are the type of polymer that belongs to the class of aromatic uh, polymides uh, characterized by the presence of amide and usually it is represented as CONH linkage in their molecular structure. And they are uh, usually typically formed through the reaction of uh, dianhydrides and diamines which undergo a condensation polymerization which we discussed already to form a polymide polymer. And um, you see that uh, couple of examples of this like polymide foams and electro winding application. Now when we talk about the structures of polymides then they have uh, a repeating unit composed of aromatic di uh, anhydrides and an aromatic diamines. So here you see that um, this is a typical structure of polymides and the amide linkage CONH is present in the main chain of polymer connecting the aromatic rings of the dianhydride and diamine. Now the presence of uh, aromatic ring is the polymer backbone contributes to its high thermal stability and rigidity. So um, this is the basic skeleton of polymides. Now let us talk about their physicochemical properties. Now they possess excellent thermal stability. Now they exhibit the exceptional resistance to high temperature often withstanding continuous exposure to temperature and that is usually 300 degrees Celsius or above without significant degradation. Apart from this, they possess a high mechanical strength and uh, including the high tensile strength, stiffness, dimensional stability, making them suitable for structural application. So this offers a good application with respect to the case sensitive application of the polymer. They are offering a good chemical resistance and uh, they are resistant to wide range of chemicals including various solvents, acid, bases providing the excellent resistance to degradation in harsh environments. Apart from this, when we talk about the electrical properties, the polymides exhibit excellent electrical insulation and they are making them uh, suitable for the application in electronics where electrical insulation is extremely crucial and very important. When we talk about the low coefficient of thermal expansion, so they possess the low coefficient of thermal expansion that they exhibit a minimal dimensional changes uh, with the temperature variation making them useful application where the thermal stability is required. Now you can see, you can have a look about the various applications in electronics um, possessing this uh, polyamides like Kapton film, flexible substrate sensors, PCB technologies, protective coating for space, um, then you can have a various kind of a digital isolators, all these things. So they, they, they have a wide spectrum of application in different fields of electronics. Now because they are exceptional properties which we discussed in previous slides, they are extensively utilized in various electrical application. Like low K intermetallic layers for ultra large scale integration in the microelectronics. This provide the reduced capacitance and improved signal integrity. Then bond pad redistribution and buffer layers of integrated circuits enabling the efficient signal routing and connection between the different components. 
Apart from this, the film for flexible substrate they used in the development of various sensors, they offer any flexibility, chemical resistance, excellent dielectric properties, all those things. Apart from this, a rigid substrate for the PCBs technology and the providing the mechanical support and electrical insulation for electronic components. They possess the protective coating for space application, offering the thermal stability, radiation resistance, uh, protection against the harsh environment conditions. Then film for high temperature capacitors in uh, realm of uh, new energy storage challenges. Uh, people are talking about all these new energy storage challenges in nowadays. So they deliver the exceptional electrical properties and stability at elevated temperature. Then insulating layer in the next generation of high temperature aeronautical cables, ensuring the reliable electrical insulations under the extreme conditions, the high thermal class enamel of high temperature, why are they utilized in the electrical motor application, providing the excellent thermal endurance and electrical insulation properties. Then passivation layers for surface insulation of high voltage and high temperature power electronic devices like uh, SI, SIC, etc. This preventing the electrical leakage and enhancing the device reliability as well as stability. Insulating barriers for digital isolators in isolated gate drivers, the ensuring the effective isolation between high voltage and low voltage circuits for enhanced safety. Then they are used in the gate insulators for emerging organic electronic facilitating the char facilitating charge transport and controlling device performance in organic electronic devices. Now these polymers, they find their application in a high temperature stable structure adhesives, wire coating and that can also be used as a molding components when you add some, some sort of the fillers. Now the mechanical strength and the flexibility of these polymides depend on the size of the oligomer which correlates with the degree of cross-linking during the curing process. Larger oligomers, they exhibit the lower degrees of cross-linking leading to a greater flexibility. Now, below that has described the structure and properties of say 14 acetylene substituted polymides, highlighting their thermal and electrical properties which are comparable uh, to those condensation type of polymides. The dielectric constant of these polymides ranges from 2 to 3 and they exhibit long term thermal stability that is ranging from 300 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius. Now here you see the different type of oligo oligomers we classed in a type 1 type of oligomer and then different type of a solvent being used and their melting point and glass transition temperature of cured polymer and this is purely for the reference purpose. Apart from this, we have also already um, enlisted type 2 type of oligomers and their glass transition temperature and the relevant solvent which can be used for this one. So when we talk about the synthesis aspect, these poly uh, polymides can be synthesized through two main type of polymerization process. One is the condensation polymerization and second one is the addition polymerization or step growth polymerization. Now the condensation polymerization based polymides, the condensation polymerization, this involves the reaction between two or more monomers with the elimination of a small molecule like sometimes water, sometimes alcohol during that particular polymerization process. So the polymides, they are typically synthesized through a two-step process. Now here, the first step involves the reaction of an aromatic dianhydride with an aromatic diamine. This results in the formation of an intermediate polyamic acid or polyamic ester precursor. So this is the precursor and sometimes referred as the, the intermediates. The polyamic acid is then subjected to the thermal or chemical imidization process which converts the acid group and, and the amine group into imide linkage. This is the CONH forming the final product or final polyamide structure. Now a common procedure is to condense pyrometallic dianhydride with bis-4-aminophenyl ether, which is, uh, I mean, represented here. Now, this reaction proceeds uh, 
in two steps. One is the formation of an intermediate or polyamic acid and then ring closure through the elimination of water because it is a condensation polymerization. So, the elimination of water to yield the high molecular weight polyamide. Now, here you can, you can see this is the, the polymetallic dianhydride and this is the bis 4 aminophenyl ether. Now, cyclization, this is sometimes referred as the ring closer in polymide synthesis. This requires a minimum temperature of 120 to 150 degrees Celsius. Now, to achieve the quantitative conversion from polyamic acid to polymide, higher temperature of say 300 to 400 degrees Celsius, they are required for several minutes to say one hour. And the high temperature needed for the completion of this conversion limit the use of uh, the polyamide to the application where such temperature can be tolerated. So, it is a very case sensitive thing depends on the application which you require for that particular polyamide. Now, formulation um, using the benzoguamine or S triazine this have been developed with more moderate baking, baking temperature of uh, 125 to 205 degrees Celsius. Now, these polyamides tend to have higher molecular weights and a better thermal stability due to um, the elimination to small molecules during the polymerization process. So, the presence of this uh, imide CONH linkage in the polymer backbone contributes to the excellent thermal resistance which we talk about apart from this they possess the mechanical strength and the chemical resistance too. This is based on this condensation based polyamides. Now, example of these condensation po polymerization based polyamides, this includes the polyethramide, polybis melamide, then polycycloxane amide, these polymers. So, you the structurally we can represent it like this. Now, let us talk about the step growth polymerization based polymerides, some, uh, polyamides, sometimes they are referred as addition polymerization based polyamides. Now, addition polymerization based polyamides, they are synthesis synthesized through a step growth polymerization process. So, first thing you know that uh, for the step growth polymerization is that monomer preparation. Now, the monomer preparation under this the prepare the dianhydride monomer because uh, the dianhydride and I mean these are the two precursor for this uh, polyamides. So, you need to prepare a dianhydride monomer by reacting a dianhydride compound that is sometimes 3344 benzophenone tetracarboxylic dianhydride. Now, with a diamine because a diamine, diamine is again a precursor and that is one of the example is that 44 diamino diphenyl ether in a suitable solvent. Now, this solvent uh, for example that is NN dimethyl acetamide under the controlled conditions. Now, you need to stir the reaction mass at an appropriate temperature and isolate the dianhydride diamine intermediate as a solid or solution whatever that depends on the reactant as well as the reaction condition. Then next step is the polymerization. You need to add a suitable catalyst or initiator because you need to initiate the, the reaction to this dianhydride diamine intermediate to initiate the polymerization reaction. Now, some of the common catalysts they include the metal salts or metal al alkoxides, all these things. Then you need to slightly apply the reaction mixture to promote the polymerization process and the temperature and the reaction they are time depend on the specific monomer and catalyst, whatever catalyst you are using. Now, addition type um, polyamides, they are then cured at a temperature roughly at a, around 200 degrees Celsius or sometimes more than this one resulting the material with a high glass transition temperature which is uh, I mean important. Now, it is utmost duty to monitor the progress of the reaction by various analytical techniques like spectrophotometry, viscosity measurements all these things until the desired degree of polymerization is achieved because this ultimately reflect in your final product or final application. Then the polymer film formation you need to cast or spin coat the polymer solution into a substrate to form a uniform film and then evaporate the solvent under the controlled condition that is a, it may be the heat or a vacuum. This allowed to the polymer chain to align and the film uh, to solidify. Next step is the thermal treatment. 
This is subject to the polymer film to a thermal curing process. This is also known as imidization to convert the polyamic acid and intermediate into the fully imidized polyamide. Now, typically the thermal treatment is involves a two step process. One is uh, at a low temperature imidization step followed by the high temperature curing step. The exact temperature and time parameter that depends on the specific polyamide systems or the application you require. Let us talk about couple of examples of this uh, polyamide synthesis. One is that Captain, a well known addition polymerization based polyamide derived from pyrometallic dianhydride, sometimes referred as PMDA and 4,4-oxydianiline that is ODA. Now, it exhibits excellent thermal stability and electrical insulation properties making it suitable for various high temperature applications. Another example is the Uplex. This is another addition polymerization based polyamide. This is often used as a flexible substrate in the electronics industry and it is derived from the biphenyl tetracarboxylic dianhydride that is referred as a BPDA and a para phenyl, amide, uh, phenyl uh, diamine PPD offering good medical, uh, good mechanical strength and thermal resistance. So, you can see this uh, the base grade UPLX uh, properties the are uh, high tensile strength modulus uh, demonstrate the outstanding mechanical characteristics to a wide temperature range and they possess the, the excellent electrical characteristic over a wide range of temperature and frequencies apart from this they offer very good thermal properties, environmental resistance, chemical resistance and they possess the smooth surface this uh, 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 allows the fine pitch pattern. Now, let us talk about the two step curing process and photolithography. The substrate is coated with the polyamide which is uh, subsequently soft baked that is sometimes referred as beta staged to eliminate the solvent and form a polyamic acid coating. A layer of photo resist is applied onto the polyamic acid coating exposed to a specific pattern and uh, subsequently it is developed and the exposed areas of polymates are dissolved using an alkaline solution such as ammonium hydroxide. You can see this uh, substrate, then the lamination of uh, CO foil and then dry photoresist coating, then UV exposure and subsequently photoresist stripping and uh, gold plating. The photoresist is then removed leaving behind a patterned polyamide and the patterned polyamide is fully cured progressing from the polymic acid state to polymerized state and sometimes referred as C stage. Now, this sequential process enables the precise formation of insulation layer with a well defined rise. Now, these insulation layers find application in the production of a thin film multi layer interconnect substrates. Then a uh, question arises that how do we modify the properties of uh, polyamides because sometimes for some specific application you require this type of approach, certainly we can modify. The chemical structure of polyamides can be altered based on the specific diamine and dianhydride monomers. Now some of the examples we have enlisted, they illustrate the structural change like first one is diamine variation using the aromatic diamines like 4,4-diamino-diphenyl ether ODA or 1,3-bis-4-aminophenoxy-benzene that is APB. This results the polyamides with a rigid aromatic structure. Then aliphatic diamines such as uh, hexamethylene diamine HMDA or ethylene diamine EDA, they introduce the flexible alkyl change in chain into the polyamide structure. And diamines with the polar functional groups like 4,4-diamino-diphenyl sulfone, DDS, they can enhance the solubility of polyamides in certain solvents like here they are clearly visible. Another uh, modification is seen that is anhydride variation. Now, using the pyrometallic uh, dianhydrides PMDA or 3344 or biphenyl tetracarboxylic dianhydride BPDA, this introduces the aromatic structure into the polyamide backbone. Now, aliphatic anhydrides such as succinic acid, succinic anhydride 
or malic anhydride this can lead to the polymides with more flexible and amorphous structures now anhydrides with bulky substitute like benzophenone, tetracarboxylic dianhydrides BTDA, this can affect the packaging and crystallinity of polymides. Some of the examples of structural chains using ODA or PMDA, this combination yields a highly rigid and thermally stable polymide structure suitable for high temperature application. Then if we use the HMDA or PMDA, this combination leads to a flexible and transparent polyamides with improved mechanical properties. Now using DDS or BTDA, this combination produces a soluble and amorphous polyamides with good chemical resistance. And if we use APB and BPDA, this combination they may result in the polyamides with a rigid and highly ordered structure providing the excellent mechanical strength and thermal stability. So these examples, they demonstrate how the choice of diamine and anhydride can modify the chemical structure of polyamides influencing the properties like rigidity, flexibility, solubility, thermal stability or mechanical strength. So, all these properties they are very important for the various application of these polyamides. Another examples like these polyamides they derive from 2 to this 3 4 dicarboxylphenyl hexafluoropropane 3 3 oxydiamine uh, diamine. So, this is the long structure and uh, ring type of a structure. Another example is this polyamide derived from 4,4-oxydiethylic anhydride plus 2,4-oxydiamine diamine. This is again the structural representation of polyamide. This derived from 2,2-base-3,4-dicarboxylphenyl-carboxylic dianhydride and diaminophenyl-trimethyl in main. Now, let us talk about uh, the solvent soluble polyamides. They are polyamides are typically insoluble in organic solvents, which limits their utility in microelectronic application and that requires the easy removal of coating for reworking and component repair. Now, by varying the diamine anhydride or both or solvent soluble polyamides have been developed. Now, these modification incorporate the bulky groups like trifluoromethyl or sulfone, bridging groups and metal linked diamine to reduce the charge transfer complexing and enhance the solubility. Now the solvent soluble polyamides, they are supplied as a fully amidized or pre-polymerized and providing the stability at room temperature and long shelf lives. They do not release water during the curing process and that is very important. Now, some solvent soluble polyamides, they can undergo the thermal cross-linking at temperature between 200 to 350 degrees Celsius and then thereby they are forming the dense coating with minimal or no shrinkage. Now, these coating exhibit chemical resistance to most organic solvent. So, the precise control of uh, polyamide viscosity allows the application of a very thin coating and uh, sometimes it is 0.5 to 5 micron. Now, this led to uh, their use as a, a passivation coating, uh, interlayer dielectric, x-ray mask, panelization coating and alpha particle barriers in integrated circuits. So, they are having very specific uh, you can say the applications. Now, here are some of the examples of solvent uh, soluble polyamides. Uh, here, the polymer type is amorphous thermoset is spin coated and uh, glass transition temperature is 325 degrees Celsius, melting temperature not reported and thermal expansion coefficient 5.0, the barrier properties, water absorption and solvent resistance, these are not applicable. And if we talk about the electrical properties, the dielectric constants referred as 3.2, 4 dissipation factor 1 megahertz is 0 0.0018. And sometimes other properties are also important for the core application that is Young's modulus, optical transparency 
and biocompatibility. Now, there are several advantages associated with the solvent um, soluble polyamides. One is the processability. The solvent soluble polyamides, this can be easily processed by techniques such as spin coating, casting, solution deposition. Then the flexibility, the solvent uh, soluble polyamides can be formulated to have a high degree of flexibility which makes them useful in application such as uh, flexible electronics and displays. Then the chemical resistance, the solvent soluble polyamides are resistant to a wide range of chemicals. This includes um, the acid, base and solvents. High thermal stability, these uh, solvent soluble polyamides exhibit excellent thermal stability uh, which makes them useful in high temperature applications. But when we, we have talked about the advantages, there are a couple of disadvantages also associated with the solvent soluble polyamides like limiting mechanical strength. The solvent soluble polyamides can have lower mechanical strength compared to other type of polyamides which can limit their use in structural application. Then the solvent toxicity. Some of the solvents used to dissolve the solvent soluble polyamides, they can be toxic in nature and they require the proper handling and disposal because sometimes they may possess the fire hazards too. So that then we need to care them very carefully. Let us talk about the photosensitive polyamides. Now the photosensitive polyamides, they are the type of the polyamides that can be patterned using photolithography. And they are often used in fabrication of microelectronic circuits and high other high density interconnect applications. The photosensitive uh, polyamides, they are typically synthesized by adding a photo initiator to the polyamide precursor solution. Uh, the photo initiator is a compound that is sensitive to light and generates the free radical when exposed to ultraviolet light. The free radical initiate a cross-linking reaction and that leads to the formation of solid polyamide films. So after this, uh, the polyamide film is formed, it can be patterned using the photolithography and the polyamide film is coated with a layer of photoresist and then exposed to ultraviolet light through a photo mask. The photoresist uh, in the exposed area is chemically altered and can be selectively removed using a solvent. And the underlying polyamide film is then etched use, uh, using a suitable each end to create a desired pattern. Whatever pattern you require that can be etched out with the help of a suitable each end. Now, there are several advantages uh, which uh, uh, we can talk about that they are having the high resolution patterning. Now, the photosensitive polyamides can be patterned with a very high resolution which makes them useful in the fabrication of microelectronic circuits and other high density interconnect application. Then the process compatibility, the photosensitive polyamides can be processed using a standard photolithography technique which uh, makes them compatible with existing fabrication process. Then they possess uh, the chemical resistance properties and the photosensitive polyamides exhibit the excellent chemical resistance which makes them useful in a very harsh environment. They possess the thermal stability aspect also they, the photosensitive polyamides exhibit excellent thermal stability which makes them useful in high temperature application. But apart from this there are some several disadvantages associated with the photosensitive polyamides. One is that they possess the limited mechanical strength. The photosensitive polyamides can have the lower mechanical strength compared to other type of polyamides which can limit their use in structural, structural application. Then the cost, this is very important. The photosensitive polyamides can be more expensive than other type of polyamides which can limit their use in some applications. So dear friends, in this particular segment, we discussed about uh, the polyamides. Uh, different uh, modes of synthesis of these polyamides, different application of these polyamides and then different classes of uh, these polyamides. And for your convenience, we have enlisted uh, several references which you can use as per your need.
थैंक यू वेरी मच